Oh well. Uh, somebody uh, requested uh, how I added the uh, side uh, widget thing, widget like thing actually. Um, it's not really a widget per se. Uh, it's something that's called Conky, C O N K Y. Um, I think the best way to get that is uh, through Synaptic Package Manager. Start. Uh, if you don't have that, you can get it through the Software Center. And you have to uh, type in your credentials. And just type Conky. And I suggest get Conky all. Okay. Mark for installation. And apply. And check this. I don't think you have to reboot. Wait for this to download and install. It's not too big. And okay, not. And we'll close this. Now, Conky on its own is very basic, but still, it's there. So you get an idea. I think it's there. It is. Okay. Now you don't. You can't really move this or anything. Uh, you have to set parameters on where you want on the screen, and obviously if this is just uh, black and white. So the colors and uh, all that is done through a configuration file. And some people have made some amazing uh, scripts for Conky. Okay, now we have to do some uh, work ahead uh, before we get the actual script. And I've written some notes here. Um, um, basically, um, you can do it through the terminal or you can do it through the Synaptic Package Manager. But it's, uh, you have to get Python, stat grab, dash stat grab, ttf dash droid, font, and curl. So if you just, uh, I'll just highlight this, you just, I'll put this in the notes. Uh, you just copy this and open the terminal and you can either right click and paste, do it like that. You press enter and you type in your password and we'll let that download those files well that's going on I just want to uh, I I wouldn't suggest installing this if you read up on the, the some of the conky files the uh, sensors for hard drive temp don't no, please please don't use that okay um, 10.04 if you do use it uh, you're gonna have to use some other things but it's no longer what 10.04 is next year supported though. So again, uh, that would be the command. And again, I'll put those in the notes. Okay, that's done. Um, now we have to answer a series of questions. So it's uh, sudo sensors dash detect. So we'll just copy that, and I'll clear this, and uh, I'll make this large. Well, maybe not. I'll just zoom in a little. Because you have to answer a series. You answer basically all, yes to all. And we'll just, uh, <laughs> it's fun, paste. And we press enter. South bridges, CPU or memory controllers, embedded sensors, do you want to scan? Yes. So you just say why. Okay. Next. Uh, super IO, input, output, chip, embedded sensors, right to standard ports. Yes, that's safe. Uh, then you can go through the different uh, uh, interfaces it's it's pretty safe to do these uh, monitoring yeah I, I don't like to think I have any of those but I see two yeah sure adapters and uh, now follows a summary of what the probes have just found and do you want to add this line to modules Okay, I'll just, just take a look at it for a second. And we'll zoom back out for a second so I can grab the other note. And then you have to type in this so it runs at startup. That's why I don't like the hard drive temperature. Basically. Okay, so I'll we'll paste that in. And we'll zoom in so you can see that. 
the sudo etc init dot e modules init module dash init dash tools start press enter since the script here attempting to invoke has been converted to an upstart w job you may also want to start utility okay best thing to do though is just reboot so i'm going to pause the video and uh reboot and i'll be back and we'll do some more work on uh, installing uh the conky uh scheme that i uh, downloaded so i'll be back in a minute okay uh after reboot uh everything seems to go okay um and one, a quick way to just to see that it's uh, actually monitoring stuff is you just type in sensors, sensors, so like squat, okay? And that comes up basically with what uh, the script found on your particular computer. Um, there is a GUI you can get uh, called X Sensors. I can put that in the description as well. And that brings up your famed um, rotation and your temperatures and your CPU temp and it's, it's a very hot sticky muggy day here so it's going up there and uh, made another script for heat and that's my CPU uh, GPU temp which is 54 degrees Celsius it's, so it's a little on the warm side okay I shall just exit this for now we have to go on to the internet now and this package and script is called Conkey. I'm not sure if it's dash or under. It could be Conkey colors. Yep, I think this is it on DeviantArt. We'll just do a zoom in. Make sure this is the one. Yeah, this is it. And the one that I'm using is right here, the default. Okay. To so download the files, 2.4 megabytes. Okay, I already have it downloaded. So we'll go to our downloads and Conky Colors, and that's a zip file. And you can just take this uh, folder and drag it out to your downloads. Okay, and we'll double click here. And there's a make file here. And this is what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to make this. It's a little tricky. Okay. Uh, the best way to do this is uh, when you're in your, uh, wherever you downloaded this and your Conkey Colors, is just uh, open a terminal and uh, change directory to downloads uh, slash Conkey underscore colors. And let's do an ls. And... There's a couple of ways you can approach this. Uh, let's just do a make. Okay, it's already been done. Um, I did this previously. And uh, let's do a sudo. Make sure everything's working right. Make in install. And type in your password. Okay, that's fine. There's certain things you can do. Uh, First of all, you want this dot slash conky colors. Oh, oops. Make sure I have. Copy that. Back to terminal. And we'll paste that in. And we'll add two dashes or tax or whatever you want to call it. Help. And you have a long list of uh, different variables and whatever you can put in. And for reference, you can just uh, say, just do that again, and then output to that directory, say, Conky, oops, help, dot text. And we'll, uh, there it is there. Maximize that. And it's a little easier to see in a, in a text editor. Um, and it shows you all the commands you can put in, like CPU swap, battery if you're running on a, a laptop, etc. Clock, um, calendar, different types of calendars. You can have uh, different uh, ring modes, like Cairo ring, and board style. And there's the default, which is what I use. And as far as the media players, I haven't been able to get them working. 
I'm not sure why, and it, I tried it with MPD, but uh, there's something not working. I don't know. So I'll close that, and we'll just trim this down. One thing I don't want in here is that. I'll take that out. Okay, so once you have it set up, if you're using Ubuntu and you want it similar to what I have, you can just, I'll put this in the notes and you just uh, copy and then go to your terminal and then I'll clear the screen again. And I'll just paste that in and it says Ubuntu, Debian, Debian, whatever you want to call it, just throw yes. Enter. Zoom in. This is when you want to run it, you just type the uh, Conky Taxi, then your home directory, and then it, where Conky Colors is now, and the RC file. I'll zoom out to make it a little easier to copy this. So we'll just copy, paste, or you can press Control Shift V and press Enter, and it should work. There we go. You notice in this window, NVIDIA settings not found, that's because I don't have an NVIDIA card. But as you can see on the uh, right side, yeah, it's working. So I'll minimize these windows. And we'll zoom in a little bit. It's kind of hard to see, depending on your desktop background. If you have a background changer, which I do, uh, sometimes it's, it's uh, a little difficult to see. So there's ways of changing the color. And there's a way to fix this so it's ATI. It'll have the uh, output of the clock, the RAM, and the temperature. And everything else is right, though, basically. Okay? Okay, so I've uh, ended the Conky uh, script. You just press Control C in the terminal. And uh, just to, as quick as I can, the uh, settings for. Uh, ATI and I changed one thing. This color one, I changed it to 1B E035 hex color. And down in the other file here, you look for NVIDIA, and you take this whole area starting with the first pound symbol here and here, and you take this whole thing where I have ATI, copy that. And then you just paste over the highlighted area, save it, and close. Um, you open your home folder to find that RC file. It's in uh, a hidden folder kind of thing. So you press Control H and con uh, look for dot conky colors. And there's your RC right there. And there's the ATI that I had open. Okay. You launch your terminal. So you change directory to dot conky colors ls and then you can just do that of that command which was um you don't have to put in the whole path and also be conky which is installed from before taxi and then uh conky rc okay it says aptitude here not found, that's an older version of app get kind of thing, but it's better. And if you notice the background, background wallpaper changed on me, as usual, that's the problem with that. But I've changed the colors um, for specific wallpapers. And as you can see, though, the AMD is working. You can see the temperature fluctuating, you can see the clock, and the other stuff that we had from before is uh, working fine. I'll put this in the, uh, I'll put a link maybe on Google Docs or something uh, so you can grab the, the configuration file I had for Conky and just put it in your dot .conky colors or, uh, folder in your home folder. Make a backup of the other one first, just you know, rename it backup or whatever. And that's it. Okay, so I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And thanks so much for watching and... Uh, We'll talk to you later. Bye for now.